What's up guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2017 CBR 1000 RR. We'll be listening to the stock exhaust sound and then we'll be going over the installation instructions for the Yoshi slip-on exhaust. So first let's kick off this video with some of the sound coming out of the stock exhaust. comes with it's going to come with your instruction guide which I have somewhere around here it's going to come with a new clamp valve clamp it's going to come with this one I can use just like this silencer and this is the actual slip on exhaust itself okay so to install the exhaust itself you're going to be removing you have to remove the um, right fairing for the record you don't actually have to remove the entire right fairing you can simply just remove the screws and pull it down a bit the motorcycle so to do so you're going to remove these screws here this one as well as this one. All right, so just taking a little break to kind of show off what has to happen. So these are the um, cables for the servo that need to be disconnected off of the actual exhaust here. Um, I kind of butchered it because I'm throwing this thing out anyway, but. Uh, I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, I think I need to disconnect this entire motor. Um, if I can pop up the ISO here a little bit so you guys can see better. There we go. No flash needed. But I need to, uh, this is servo. I need to take this cable out and put this back up and then I believe we're, we can just start installing the new exhaust. Okay. removed the cables. Let's see if I can get some light over here. Make it easier, but I removed some of the cables from the um, from the motor. So now I'm just gonna stick it back up there, put it back in place. Okay, so once you've got the cables and the exhaust removed, obviously you're gonna wanna put this back on. Uh, this is very important to make sure you put this uh, back onto the specifications of the manufacturer because the last thing you want is your foot peg to fly off while you're riding. So I'm gonna actually be putting mine back on right now. Right, so you, it does uh, request that you install this thing here, which is a piece that I, I neglected to mention, but it's got a little hook on it. Uh, it comes with both of these, the hook and this tool. So you're just gonna pull it back and get it on like, all right. So you're gonna put it on like that. Uh, obviously for reasons you don't want the exhaust to slip off the actual mid, the little pipe here, so I am <laughs> sure that's what that's for. Alright, and this is what the other side will look like with the clamp. Alright, so let's go slide this in here. As you can see, it pretty much aligns with uh, the original, um, the original bolt. So actually, we're going to be using the, uh, some of the original bolts to put this one back on. So now we're going to take our uh, what bit is this? This is a 12, 12 millimeter. So I'm going to focus here. 12 millimeter bit. I'm going to use and tighten it up. Okay, so of course you're gonna take it back the bolts once you're done. Uh, you know, all of these are back to tight. Um, and obviously make sure all your bolts are secure, um, especially the foot pegs. Uh, and make sure everything's working and secure. Let's 
it's gonna, now we're gonna turn it on and see how she sounds. Now, of course, it's in this basement, so it's gonna be amplified a little bit more than it should be, but you can get, kind of get a gist of what it sounds like. I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. If it was, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. My name is Flan Conleche. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.